Hello guys, it is the most super Jew back with my next episode of Game Every Day in May. Well, first of all, I'm gonna have to apologize because I haven't been keeping up with this and it's been game every bunch of days in May because the only one that's been keeping up is 904 Funny and I gotta give it to him and I gotta apologize that I haven't been keeping up with it, so I'm sorry. Today we have a battle against TJ and you see the teams. Mine's mostly OU, his is not. Let's get this started. Alright, so like I said, TJ, I start off my Don fan, my good spinner and stealth rocker. I switch it out, go into Magnazone, hoping to trap and get rid of the Skarmory early on. And so I sub, but he was smart and he whirlwind me out of my sub, and I get sent into Conkolder. Now I don't want to keep Conkolder out because he will take. Um, some damage from the Bra Brave Bird, so I switch in Don Fan. Is he sets up more spikes, so spikes are really starting to rack up. That's fine. He's had he uses another thing of spikes, but a rapid spin. Uh, all the spikes are gone. We're all good. Getting our leftovers. Now he uses Brave Bird, and I know Don Fan has decent HP and decent defense so I know I won't take much damage from that as I go for the stealth rocks and we're getting our leftovers and I switch out and go into Gastrodon because and then he whirlwinds me out right into my Gengar now I really didn't want to hope on the chances of Focus Blast hitting so I go right back into Mag Zone as he switches out into his Swamper now I sabbed the Swamper, or genned it, and I knew it had a ground move. So I'm going to quick switch out, go into my Gastrodon, as he sets up the Stealth Rocks, which is a very good move, because he knew I wasn't going to stand it, stay in on that. I go for the Earth Power, because it really is the only move I have that hits him the hardest, and it doesn't do much. Him, not knowing Gastrodon's ability, goes for the Scald. I get the Special Attack Raise, and go for the Toxic to wear down the Swampert more. Uh, protecting the Skarmory, I go for the Ice Beam, because it's what I have to hit the best, but he switches in his Flygon, and that is the end of Flygon, which is really unfortunate because it's a premier sweeper on his team. Now he goes into Skarmory, and he roosts up, and gets his HP back as I go for the Ice Beam. So if I had predicted that, I could have gone for Earth Power and hit him down really low, but it's fine, because I go for the X Ice Beam and I get the unfortunate freeze. Oh my, I am sorry about that TJ. That is very unfortunate. Then he goes to Professor Waves and I didn't want to have Gastron sweep just because of that freeze so I go into Conkolder. Now Conkolder is a really good Pokemon. Actually, as you're noticing, there's a lot of leftovers going on. My whole team in this thing has leftovers, interestingly enough. So he goes for the Scald, I wouldn't mind getting burned because of the Guts ability as I go for Drain Punch and it does a decent amount of damage. I'm keeping up with the health and the Toxic is going to start racking up on him but he switches out and decides to go for his Ampharos on my Drain Punch. And the Drain Punch does quite a lot and I decide to see how much a Mach Punch will do and I get a crit. Don't know if that mattered or not, it might have. He goes into Lieutenant Flare, and I knew I could take a physical hit, so I kept him in. As he goes to Mr. Mumu, um, I go for the Drain Punch, and that is almost a one-hit KO, but, you know, mill tanks are bulky. He switches out, goes back into his Skarmory, which I mock punch, planning on killing Mr. Mumu, but it didn't. And I decided to set up a little on Skarm. Not much, just go for one bulk up. Wanted to be a little fair. And I was running out of time, this was supposed to be a quick battle. So, I go for the Mach Punch, and that's not able to kill it. I go for the Mach Punch again, and this one is able to kill it. Now, I would have set up to like plus six if I had the time, but I did not. So, he goes for the Flare Blitz, and that does decent amount of damage on me. Except for the fact that I had the Drain Punch. So,. That really screws him over. And you actually don't get to see the rest of my Pokemon, which is very unfortunate. 
He goes into Professor Waves. I use the Mach Punch, thinking it could kill it, and it does. So, Conkledur is just doing a lot, a lot of work. He switches in Mr. Moo Moo, and I go for the Mach Punch, and that is an obvious takedown. So that was the end of the battle. Good game, TJ.